The New England Patriots have lost two in a row, and they are literally and figuratively on to Cincinnati. The Bengals are up next in Cincinnati. It was that blowout loss to the Chiefs in September of 2014 that caused Bill Belichick to coin that famous phrase. It was a Sunday night back when the Bengals were good. Cincinnati came to New England, and New England destroyed them. We keep waiting for that now. We've seen two straight losses, a team that was 10-1, and Chris. Yeah. Two straight losses. The inability to get it done yesterday right. against the Chiefs. Are they done? Are the Patriots done? They're not done. They're not. Uh, and I'm never going to count the Patriots out. You know, they're just... It's what too- would it take for you to say they're done? Um, Losing to the Bengals? <laughs> yes, it would. Yes. If they lost to the Bengals this week, I would go, yep, it's over. They have no chance of making a run in the AFC playoffs. Um, but, you know, they're just... A, they're, they're a coaching staff that's too smart. They're too creative. You know, Brady's still too smart and too good to where if they can just get Nikhil Harris moved along in this offense and Muhammad Sanu totally healthy uh, and of course with Julian Edelman that I, I always have belief that they're going to find the right formula for their football team now you know the issue is yes Brady's not as good as he's been you know he's 42 the offensive line I think is really the big thing that scares me more than anything whether it's pass protection or the inability to control the line of scrimmage in the run game and Mike to me the big thing is they know it, which is weird. We're in the middle of December. It's very weird that we're talking about the Patriots in a work in progress with anything in December. But I think they know. You know, calling two trick plays yesterday, that. Belichick challenging a Sammy Watkins third down catch where there was really no clear-cut camera angle but challenging it. Those little just inklings showed me that, you know, they realized like, oh, man, we can't blow this situation or we got to take advantage of this right here. We So, I, you know, I, yes, they're not – I, it's just weird that we're questioning them. Yeah, I, you know, their their schedule wasn't good this year. They dominated a very poor schedule, and now it's almost like I don't know where to kind of put them in the AFC as far as how good they really are. They still won the division because the Bills are only a game behind. They do have the Bengals on the road this week, then a Saturday home game against the Bills. Yeah, the Bills that can won't still be easy. catch them. Right, week seventeen, the Dolphins come to town, and you know, hey, what would Brian Flores love? Oh, to do. I would if, he could, if he could be, yeah. if he could be the fly in the ointment, right. the the wrench in the gears that keeps the Patriots from winning the division or clinching a, a bye, and they they have had a bye every year since 2010. Yeah, it's and crazy. they've been in the AFC Championship game every year since 2011, and it really is in question now. And and you do have to wonder. And it's not like we're gonna we're gonna throw dirt on the Patriots, but. What we saw yesterday was stunning yeah. in the aftermath of the loss to the Texans. Right. And we see those plays where Tom Brady just kind of bails out and throws the ball. And I look, the guy has played for 20 years. He's yep. 42. He has young, strong, large, fast men chasing him. I can understand his reluctance to get hit. He got sure. hit 12 times against the Texans, right. six more times against the Chiefs. And at some point, your self-preservation gene has to kick in. Definitely. But that, even that last throw, how many times have we seen a quarterback stand in there and know that hit's coming but want to deliver the most accurate throw possible with the game on the line, not the falling away, winging a prayer, yeah. hope my guy can Falls get it. Down, you stand there and deliver it, and yeah. you know you're going to take the hit. Yeah. You didn't stand there. And, t- and again, I wouldn't either. I would yeah. never do it once. No. He's been doing it for 20 years. But when I see that, it just makes me think, how close is Father Time yeah. to taking over? Little pieces of evidence. Yeah. That's that's really all it is. You're exactly right. And, and there was a handful of plays in the Houston Texans game, too. And again, when you're under duress, you're going to be flinchy. But there's been little pieces here and there of a lot of games with the, the, with the New England Patriots this year where, yeah, maybe there's a guy open. He aggressively flinches in the pocket because he thinks the pocket's about to collapse. And then, you know, when he does gather himself, the guy's not open anymore. And, you know, again, they are a work in progress totally on the offensive side of the ball. I'm not sure they can get it together. I know that staff will continue to tinker and work with it. Uh, Brady still is dangerous. His arm is still really good. There's no doubt about that. There's just so much pressure on their defense and special teams right now to win games. I mean, it's unbelievable. Really, you know, their, their first scoring drive, that happened too, let's not forget, because of two big pass interference calls. That's how they got the ball down the field. So even, you know, in some of their successful drives yesterday, it was, you know, yeah, mistakes by the Kansas City Chiefs or whatever. Having said all that, they had chances to win the football game and got unlucky. I mean, that game was crazy where the Chiefs, 
dominated the game and you go, man, the Chiefs should be winning like 30, 33 to 10 right now. And then you went from, man, New England got screwed over in two calls. They'd be winning this football game. Uh, so even when they're floundering, they still find ways to be a pain in your ass. Tom Brady was on WEEI this morning. He said he didn't get a ton of sleep last night, anxious to get in there, get back to work this morning. And he also addressed that issue of getting Oh, oh, no, being on the wrong end of the officiating calls. Yeah. Not getting booed. But, right. but but having those two calls that we talked about, he said, when you play sports long enough, I think sometimes you're the recipient of things that go your way, and you're on the other side of it, too. For me, I don't think too much about it. I wish it would go our way. Unfortunately, they didn't. It doesn't take away from when you watch the game all the different things we had in our control that I wish we could have done right. better. So yeah, well you, you, can't, yeah, you, you don't make excuses for that yeah. because you know there's going to be games where it happens for you. Right. There's going to be games where it happens against you. Yep. you got to play well enough that you win even when it happens against you. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.